1971, Jefferson Nickel was missing mint mark S. Great SPR 69 cameo by NGC. A valuable and sought after coin among collectors. Noes variety refers to an error in which the San Francisco mint failed to add the mint mark S. This occurred during the production of proof coins which are specially made for collectors with polished dies and planchets to achieve a mirrored finish. With frosted devices, this gem fetched the sum of $2,100 on July 23, 2023. 1952s Jefferson Nickel in 67 condition with full steps, remarkably well-preserved superb gem example of this San Francisco issue showing virtually flawless fields. With just a few small marks evident on Jefferson's portrait, a tingle of light golden toning accents the satiny mint luster. In full steps, the 1952S is a major rarity in MS67. This gem ended up selling for $7,800. Here is 1922 no D Lincoln cent in MS65 brown condition, highly sought after coin with CAC approval. This high-grade example of the famous No D Strong Reverse Scent affords an unusual opportunity to examine what this rarity looks like in gem condition, but mellowed with time. The obverse displays a diagnostic mushy strike, the L in Liberty pulled to the rim, and the portrait under detailed. The reverse, in comparison, is far sharper but still displays a few areas of weakness on the high points of the wheat stocks as typical for this issue, and the tired state of dyes. It was sold for $67,562.50. This is 1910 Lincoln sent in PR67 red condition. The upper obverse features blended shades of rose, violet, green, blue, and gold, while the rest of this exquisite superb gem is largely copper orange. Finely textured surfaces lack any mentionable contact marks. Eye appeal is absolutely fantastic. The fact that CEC has endorsed the coin is appreciated but not at all surprising. Quality is blatantly high end for the grade. It was sold for $15,600. 1940 Jefferson Nickel was the reverse of 1938. The reverse of 1938 is identified by the mushy steps on Monticello, contrasting with the reverse of 1940, which has sharply defined individual steps. The reverse of 1938 variety is by far the rarer of the two in proof format, being scarce in any grade and rare at superb gem level. This PR68 coin is one of just nine pieces in this grade, at PCGS and NGC combined, making it tied for the finest. It was sold for $11,700 on July 20th, 2023. Here is 1921 D Mercury Dime in MS66 Plus condition with full bands. A boldly lustrous gem with broadly sweeping cartwheels and pale champagne gold highlights. The surfaces are mark free and satiny, and the eye appeal is substantial for the grade. The strike is bold and crisp throughout, as should be expected. The mintage for the date, over 1 million pieces, represents the second lowest production run of the design type, taking back seat to just the 1916 D rarity. It was sold for $22,325. Here is 1949 as Franklin half dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines and star designation. Crescents of extremely vivid crimson red and softer powder blue peripheral toning provide truly memorable eye appeal for these rare Franklin half. It ended up selling for $8,812.50. 1968 S. Lincoln Sand struck on a Costa Rican 5 cent Tavos planchet impressed into a verse of a cent planchet. According to Numista, 4.84 million Costa Rican 5 cent Tavos were struck at the San Francisco Mint in 1968. Those coins were dated 1967 and struck in stainless steel with weight of 0.875 grams and a diameter of 14.92 millimeters. Bronze Lincoln cents have a statutory weight of 3.11 grams, thus a combined weight of a bronze Lincoln cent and a 1967 Costa Rican 5 centavos should be 3.88 grams, similar to the weight stated on the insert. A Costa Rican 5 centavos planchet inadvertently ended up in a bin of cent planchets and was fed together with a cent planchet between 1968 S cent dies. This rarity was sold for $6,300. Here is undated Sacagawea dollar with very peculiar mint error. Coin is double struck, second strike significantly off center, creating duplicated image of Sacagawea's baby 
and right half of her bust. Some iridescent hues are evident at border lines of both strikes. Graded in mean state 65, this gem was sold for $1920. This is 1970 as Lincoln scent with double diverse satin in nearly brilliant luster blankets, both sides of this exquisite upper end gem. The complexion is best in original light orange mint color that glows radiantly under illumination, well struck and without notable blemishes, leaving the doubling clearly defined on the Overs legends. The CAC proven MS66 red gem ended up selling for $18,000. This is 1964 Jefferson Nickel from Special Mint Set. Also comes with full steps designation, a lovely example of this elusive 1964 Special Mint Set coinage that was apparently produced to test the finishes of 1965-1967 SMS sets. The estimate of sets produced range from 20 to 50, although some of them may have been lost to attrition, but other sets may still be out there. This piece shows an amazing sculptural depth of detail that is uniformly absent on business strikes, yet fully equal to the strike on proof coin. The finish, however, is non-reflective, with heavy dye polishing lines that are seen with variations on the 1964 SMS coinage. This rarity was sold for $32,900. Here is 1941 Jefferson Nickel in PR68 condition, wheat gold toning and reached this unabraded and well-struck proof Jefferson nickel, essentially flawless save for a small carbon fleck above the west wing of Monticello. From a low proof emission of 18,720 pieces, this nickel was sold for $3,840 on July 21st, 2023. Here is a vividly toned 1966 Canada of dollar, graded in mid state 67 plus by PCGS. The regular issue 1966 Canada of dollar, it scars in MS66 and rare any finer. This superb gem is an essential acquisition for advanced registry collection. The strike is bold throughout and the surfaces yield undisturbed satiny luster. Both sides show large areas of crimson, violet, spruce green and sun-gold toning. It was sold for $4,320. And this is 1944 the Lincoln Sand struck on a leftover zinc plated steel planchette graded in mint state 62 by PCGS. Deep steel gray with marginally lighter high points. Low magnification reveals a small patch of light roughness around the Lincoln's forehead and a trust, a trivial matter given the strong rarity of the issue. And probably the cause of its mint state 62 ranking. No doubt, struck early 1944 in Denver, when steel blanks of 1943 were being ushered out of system to make way for the 1944 cent. It is presumed that small number of steel zinc planchettes were stuck in press hoppers or tot beans. It was sold for $96,937.50. And that concludes our list of 16 rare coins that you should not spend. If you found this video fascinating, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing contents like this. Take care.